what thinkest thou? Psalm chapter 126, verses 1 to 3, says, When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. As Christians, we have a right always to be joyful. Those who know the Lord rejoice in His goodness and, at the same time, are glad for His great blessings. We know that whatever happens, our God can deliver us. David's life was filled with outward signs of God's blessing hand, from his rise to reign as king from a mere shepherd boy to becoming the king. There are times when we are overwhelmed by the goodness and mercy of the Lord. This often happens when we achieve a long sought after goal. As Jesus came into Jerusalem, his disciples wanted to hush up the crowd, but Jesus said if these held their peace, the rocks would cry out. When we reflect on the roads we have traveled, we see our difficulties and frustrations, but God helped us stand through it all. Habakkuk chapter 3, 17 to 18 says that even though the fig trees have no blossoms or grapes on the vines, the olive crop fails, and the fields lie empty. Even though the flocks die in the fields, and the cattle barns are empty. We will be joyful in the God of my salvation. Or what thinkest thou?